Hey fellow learners, Shirley here. Are you the kind of person who wants to learn English but all the time you talk to yourself that you don't have time for that? So this video is for you. Time is a precious treasure in our modern life. Since the beginning of the universe until now, the day has 24 hours. And we still think that you don't have enough time for things that matter in our lives. But if we slow down and pay close attention to our daily routine, we are gonna find time to learn English. Let's dive into the subject. Let's do a quick exercise here. Think about your routine Things that you do every day that you don't need to use your brain so much. For example, go for walking, uh, housework, drive your car, such kind of activity that you do automatically. During this time is the time that you are gonna use to improve your English. All you need is a smartphone and headphones because you don't want to bother no one. During these automatically activities that are what you are gonna use to improve your English and at the same time your vocabulary. I highly recommend you listen to audios that you understand. You can go over some websites like VOA Learning English, ESL, ES, ELO. They are short dialogues or short text in audio so you can listen to those audios and then check the transcription. That's a good way to sharp your listening skills. But if you can understand podcasts, you can start find podcasts with subject of interest. What do you like to listen to? For example, in my case, I started listening to podcasts all about English, how to improve your English, how to speak fluently, how to, all of those kind of things. So, after a while, I get familiar with this kind of vocabulary. After that, I move on to another uh, topic that I like so much, it's self-development. So, I started listening to many podcasts about self-development, confidence, uh, emotional intelligence, mindfulness. Then when I was familiar with this vocabulary, I moved to another kind of topic that I like, another subject that I like, healthcare, nutrition, and so on. There are two podcasts that I like so much and I highly recommend you use them. Uh, they are The Science of Success and Real Life Podcast. What I like then the most is because there are transcriptions of the podcasts. It's so important you understand what you are listening to. It's useless you listen to a podcast that you cannot understand. Why? Uh, I believe it's like someone talking in quotes and you cannot understand. So I believe that you cannot improve your English if you are not understand what they are saying. That's why it's important you pick up uh, podcasts that there are transcriptions there because while you are listening that and then you notice that parts of the dialogues you couldn't understand, you can go over to the transcription and then oh, realize that what they are saying. When you go over the transcription and try to understand, this is during this moment that you are gonna improve your vocabulary, especially if you use any space repetition program. I love Anki and by the way, I've recorded a couple of videos how to learn English with Anki. I'm gonna place up here. I believe the key point is to create a habit. 
put your laziness aside and do your best all the time all activities that you are not using your brain in the first place listen to something in english it will enhance your english it will uh, sharp your listening skills after listening many podcasts i could notice my improvement even in movies that's fantastic here i'm gonna give you in examples of activities that you can find this extra time driving your car waiting a bus train or doctor's appointment doing the housework walking a dog doing exercise like walking running drying your hair washing the car and watering plants in the garden now i'm curious which of these activities do you believe that you can start learning english today please let me know in the comments below if you liked the video please give me your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you next time bye